Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as HUFIN News. Today is July the 1st, 2021. Take a look at my chart. Yes, we're going to give you all a price prediction in the market for XPONG. You guys can tell that, man, has price been on a run, a tear to higher price ever since we hit that bottom May the 13th. This was the prime opportunity, prime real estate to come in XPONG and buy up that stock because you have seen profitable gains ever since then. Okay, so now you may be wondering, well, can we still see the price go higher in XPON? We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna to try to give you all a price prediction because if the market's not giving us anything, we won't play. This is how we work. This is how we operate. The market has to give us reasons or entice us to come in and try to take the bag. If there's no opportunity, we don't play. So if you wanna join our team, if you see that our analysis, if you see that the words that we speak is not confusing and you can understand literally what we're talking about and see and comprehend what we're dropping on these price charts, you need to follow us. You need to join our team and you do that by liking the video and sharing the video, subscribing. Recommend recommendation is that you tap that bell notification because you always want to make sure you understand what is going on into the market right before the market price gets there. So for XPUNK situation, you guys can see our last price prediction was on June the 2nd, right? We played a strength in the market in XPUNK. During that time, our first area, ultimate area TP was right there around $39, 12.9% profitability right there. Okay, pretty good. If you were to get out on the close of yesterday, which was around $44.50, that's about 28, 29% in this space from XPOM, right? So from June the 1st, all the way to July the 1st, 29% profitability right there. So let me take that away. So now we need to clean up this chart, right? The market in XPOM is definitely not traded within our two lines, it's not. So we need to get rid of one of them, right? First things first, the market has confirmed $38, $39 as support. So on any bout of weakness, we need to make sure that XPON holds that price, okay? Now, this was the trend into the market in XPON and we're still following it. The market trend in XPON from a daily basis is still trending higher. We are still seeing the market wanting to go higher price, but let me point to you this area back here historically, okay? We got some areas here in the market in XPUNG that would make the current environment do the same thing, i.e. trade sideways. So the likelihood of XPUNG continuing to go upside this ascending line it is dwindling because we got a lot of work to go through in order for us to really break this. Okay. Now, this is where the first area of restriction is into the market in XPON, right there around $47, $48, okay? It may even be $46 and 45 cents. Okay, so let's see this on a different time frame. Um, this is the three day time frame into the market in XPON, and right now, I mean, it's not that bad what we are seeing here in the market in XPON, let me draw it on the chart, is right here. This is where the restriction area is in the market in XPON, okay? How do I know? Oh, well, let me show you. The market is already speaking to us that it's having issues of breaking price above that line. Because back here, in January 2021, beginning of the year, it was using that line as support. Okay. And then we broke it, it came down. So now we're trying to come back up, hit that area as restriction now, which is why pretty much the market is anticipated in XPUNG just to trade sideways. We can expect that, right? So rather than us expecting the trend to hold, because I'm not expecting that to hold, we're gonna to continue to play some sideways trading in the market in next pong. Okay, now, 
this is where the ultimate area support is in XPOM. Okay, so we have area of restriction now around forty-six dollars in XPOM. This is the five-day time frame. Market looks pretty good still, though. For us to see this price break up above 46. So what I'm what we need to be forward thinking about is okay, if the market's gonna break $46 to the upside, where would be the next area that we can expect to see some more selling? because I can actually see right there around $47.75. So what we're going to do, let me show you all, is that, yeah, we're going to play the strength into the market in XPUNG, but first area is going to be $47.75 for TP, right? I can see the market literally trying to hit that area and try to get, get more weakness and come back down in price. And I'm going to bring it all the way up here towards $51.25, give or take. Okay. Now, $40 needs to be maintained as support on any bouts of weakness, i.e., the market dips and goes lower. All right. So that is where we're going to play in this space for XPUNG. Um, actually, still expecting the market price to go higher but not like a bullish higher terminology, i.e. we're not shooting to the moon, right? I'm not really expecting that, but we can still play anticipation of higher price so that we can still profit, okay? Um, I do like what, what, what happened on the last completed three weekly price bar though, right? That tells me that the market is trying to go somewhere. And this is the three months time frame. So depending on your preference on how long you're gonna be in the market, long term the market here in Xpon still looks strong. Okay. You're trying to be in the market on a daily basis, you're gonna to have to be a little bit more careful because expect some selling to try to come into the market in Xpon around forty-seven dollars and seventy-five cents, which is where we're going to eye that TP price. Our first area TP would be around that price. All the way up there towards $51.50, give or take. So now we're in position, okay? This is what we're going to expect the market price in XPUNG to do. Let me bring it up because I like that area right there for support. So now this is what we're in position for, all right? The trend is still intact. What I'm really expecting is for that upward trend to break, market trade sideways, with every once in a while seeing the market trying to inch higher price. That's what I'm pretty much expecting. So now it's your turn. You're on our team. Tell us where do y'all expect the market price in next pump to go? Tell us all without being confused. Okay, we're, we're not about that confusion. It doesn't require utilizing four or five, six indicators on your price chart just to gauge where price is going to go. And we've shown you that on this video in particular, right? So tell us where do you think the market price in XPUNG is gonna go in the next four weeks? Tell us where price will be. This is what we're looking forward to. Now I wanna know what you all are looking forward to in this space for XPUNG. Make sure you maintain a profitability and as always, trade different.